It is alarming when I tell you that each year 49 cases of hot car deaths of children occur in the U.S. and warm weather is upon us, which means it's time to look into this matter and take preventative measures. Dr. JJ is here to show us how we can do this. I find it so alarming that people can forget their child in a hot car. I know, all of us ask ourselves that same oh. question, and yet we find ourselves in our lives very busy, very sleep deprived, very distracted. I mean, we know it, it's all around in our society. And in fact, 65% of parents who unfortunately leave their children in cars are college educated, most of them are in careers. Some are doctors, nurse practitioners, people in healthcare, they people who should know yeah. better. Yeah. But life happens, accidents happen. One person assumes another person is doing the duty or vice versa. Yeah. And 54% of kids left in cars who haven't survived have been left accidentally, but the other 46% have either been left in the car to play while somebody dashes into the house or left there intentionally while someone goes and does an errand and then you know and you run into a friend and something. it's 10 minutes later and before you know it you come and your kid is out cold in the car right. why do cars get so hot okay so, so there's a greenhouse yeah. effect and let me explain that a little bit when light enters a car through the window these are short wave radiation and that doesn't heat the window. So we can touch our car windows. Yeah. We can touch the air in the car. It stays fairly cool. But what heats up from that short wave radiation is the furniture in the car, the car seats, the upholstery, the dashboard and the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. Then that heat coming off of those things heats the air very quickly. And before you know it, you almost multiply very quickly the temperature in the car and the hotter it is outside to start with the quicker you get to life-threatening temperatures well, which is 107 can we talk degrees. about yeah let's talk about how quick we're dealing yeah. with here yeah. you, I, I pull up to a store not that I do this but I want to run inside yes and it's so not that hot. so we pulled this together just to show you that on a typical day that might be 75 degrees within 10 minutes your car even with the windows cracked even with them cracked is 94 degrees. It's 109 at 30 minutes, and 107 will kill your child, okay? This is, wow. this is at 75, 75 degrees, degrees, 30 minutes, all yeah. right? So we get to wow. 80 degrees, a typical cool LA day in the summer, right? Yes. Within between 10 and 30 minutes, we're already at critical mass, and in less than 10 minutes, if it's 90 degrees outside, we have an inferno in that car. What happens to the victim when they're in the car? So here's what happens, and babies and kids are much more susceptible to heat, heating and overheating than we are because they have more surface area to, to their weight. And so they, have, they, they, they um, heat up quicker. They have more absorptive capacity. They also have less capability developmentally to get themselves out of a situation. Sure. They're strapped in their car seat. They may not know how to get out of the car. They may panic or be confused or hallucinating if, as they start to get heat stroke. And their ability to perspire to cool down is much less than an adult. So a child heats up three to five times faster than we ever would in a car. So wow. once this process gets going, it is cataclysmic. So even if, I t if I'm a parent, I take my kid and put it in the car and the car is already heated up, I think I'm gonna put the air on that, it's gonna cool things off. It could take a long time. To it it does, it does. And depending on the temperature outside and the temperature inside the car, which can escalate up to 130, 140 degrees yeah, yeah. Uh, within an hour, you're walking into the equivalent of a sauna. Yeah. And kids can't tolerate that very well. It's hard enough for us to tolerate right. it. What do you have as Yeah, you have, you have some products Okay, here. So, so a couple of tips first before I launch into these things. First of all, we should never leave a child unattended in a car, mm -hmm. number one. Number two, there are some clues that we can, we can put in our cars if we don't have this great technology. One is put your purse or your wallet back with your kids so that you know you need it, or your keys or your extra keys or whatever, or your work ID, put it there. Put a teddy bear in the car seat, and when you put the child in the car seat, put the teddy bear in the front seat to remind you that there's a baby back yeah. there. But face it, kids under two, especially who are the most victimized by this, mm -hmm. are facing rearward. And they're in that tortoiseshell of a seat and you can't see them if they're rear facing the way they should be. Yeah. Right. So we really need some stronger clues. And so a couple of companies have really done some amazing things. The first is Evenflow. And Evenflow makes baby bottles and they've been entrenched in the baby industry forever. And they have made this special car seat with this sensor tech technology. And what there is is there's a sensor in the um, clip, uh, the chest clip, and we have a little 
literally a clip from the company to show you how this works. And it works in cars 1988 and after. Okay. So let's look at that. Evenflow presents the latest innovation in our advanced protection series, Sensor Safe, a new safety feature that is being added to Evenflow's best selling infant car seat, Advanced Embrace DLX. This new technology helps to prevent child vehicular heat stroke by reminding the driver of the child's presence in the car. SensorSafe works with the car's onboard diagnostic system to remind the driver in a series of gentle tones that a baby is present in the vehicle. And also what's yeah. great about this is that if the child undoes the chest clip while you're driving, that will um, signal too. So a parent can stop, put the chest clip back in, which is instrumental in protecting the child. And so this is one innovation. And these are affordable car seats. They're $149 or at the lower end uh -huh. of the scale. And they are only in the rear facing zero to 35 pound uh, uh, range right now. But there also is, there's a couple up in Silicon Valley who really took notice of this national disaster and created something called iRemind. And it's basically a little pressure sensitive pad, mm -hmm. okay? And what Mark or Christina, if you want to, just put some good thumb pressure on there. And I'm gonna show you, it's linked to an app. And if you put pressure on here, what you're gonna see is that if the baby is left in the car seat, this signals that that car seat is occupied down to a pound and up to any weight. Uh -huh. And when you walk away, this thing screams at you until you go back to the car and release the weight from that car seat. Like so this child. is, yeah, yeah, so this is fantastic, especially if you think about it. There was a young man who was disabled who was left in a, a school bus, remember, mm -hmm. yes. several months back and, yes. and died as yeah. well. And so for dis disabled kids, I think this has a great thing, or kids who are, are not verbal, autistic children, sure. anyone who might fall asleep and snooze in the car. And again, if you're a distracted parent, the age really doesn't matter. And granted, most of these kids are toddlers, yeah. but a good number of them are not. So these are great yeah. innovations. We are going to save lives with these kinds of awareness. I can't imagine yeah. the, the, yes. what it would what feel it, like as a parent oh, to no, make as a that parent horrible, to do that. horrible, horrible 